Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle and I am the creator behind Lily Rose Craft Room. And for today's video, we are going to be engraving on tumblers. So I have the beautiful Thunder Nova 35 here and we're gonna be using the Roto Boss. Turn and burn. <laughs> so before we get started, if you haven't already, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Tap the notifications bell so you guys don't miss on any new videos. All right, let's get started. These are the cups that we're gonna be using today. They're from Save a Cup and they're the Mars brand. So this one right here is a 20 ounce maker and it has a, it's a matte soft touch. So it's matte and it's soft. And this one is a 40 ounce recharge. This is one of their newer 40 ounce styles. And to be honest, I like this one better. For some reason, it just looks more edgier. It fits in your cup holder and I just like it. So before we put them in the Roto Boss inside the Thunder, I like to do my measurements first. That way I don't put it in the machine and then I'm like, oh, I forgot to get the diameter. Let me take it out again. So before we put it in the machine, let's get all the measurements. So this Maker 20 ounce is a twist lid. And this is important because if you're gonna be doing a design, say you just do like a cute little design on the front, but when you twist it, the front is right here, but you accidentally engraved over here, it's gonna look weird, it's not the front. So what I do is I make sure the lid is on first and with a dry erase marker or like a pencil or something that's gonna wash off, I just make a, a little mark letting me know that that is the front. Front, the bottom, it, it washes off, so it's okay. So that's the first thing I do. And then we're gonna get the diameter of the cup. So one thing that you will be needing is calipers. So I love my calipers. I got new ones. I used to have like a cheap plastic one, but I bought this one, it's heavy metal. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm so excited. Like who gets excited over calipers? I do. So I'm gonna turn them on and we're going to get the diameter of the caliper, I mean the <laughs> diameter of the tumbler. So the diameter of this tumbler is 73.75 millimeters. So I'm gonna write that down. And you only gotta do... do... <laughs> wow, really? Oh my God, hold on. Okay, I fixed it, I don't know what happened. So I was saying you only, you only gotta do the measurements one time. So once I get these measurements down, I'm gonna save it. That way, when I get another maker cup that I wanna do, I have my measurements saved. So this is not something you have to do every time unless you get a new style cup. That way you know the measurements. So the diameter is 73.75 millimeters. Next, with some fabric measuring tape, we're gonna measure the circumference of the cup. And this one is... It's about 23 and a half centimeters. And I don't know my conversion, so Siri helps me out. Siri, 235 millimeters. That's the circumference. And then now we need the length of the tumbler. With these cups, since the bottom is like curved, I like to stop it where the line is at. So I'm gonna measure from the top all the way to this line. And this one is seven inches. And again, I don't know my conversion, so. Siri helps me out. 177.8 millimeters for the length, the height, height. Okay, now I have all my measurements for this cup. I'm gonna do the measurements for this one. Now, I am not gonna be doing a full wrap. I just want something uh, designed right here and the name on the back. So with this one, I will be measuring the diameter of the cup. So this recharge 40 ounce tumbler has a diameter of 92.8 millimeters. All right, now that we have all our measurements figured out, we're gonna go over to the Thunder Laser. We're gonna start with this one. We're gonna install it in the Roto Boss, make sure everything is nice and straight, and then we'll go on Light Burn and upload the design and do all the rest of the stuff there. All right, for my rotary, I am using the Roto Boss Talon. And with this one, it just has like this, uh, this disc you spin and it open it and it closes it. So to install it, it's pretty easy. 
I just put the cup right here and then I turn it until it locks it into place. Like that, it's nice and secure. To make sure that the rotary is nice and straight on my bed, I usually put my laser pointer right here. There's like a little hole and I run it across and I make sure that it's running across the line. So that way I know that the rotary is straight on here. And then to measure that I am lasering from right overhead, I use this as a guidance. Right here, there's a little screw and I put my laser pointer right above it and that is how I know I am lasering right above overhead. And then we have to make sure that our tumbler is level. We got the bubble in the middle and if we needed to adjust it to make it level, there is knobs right here. You just unscrew it, loosen it a little bit, and then you're able to make it go up, make it go down, just to make your tumbler, tumbler level. Also, another thing, I am using the four inch laser head. And the reason I'm using it is because I'm gonna also put the other tumbler in. And that one has handles and it has those tabs. So I just wanted to put the four inch laser head right now, that way I don't have to switch it later. But, um, yeah, I'm using the four inch laser head. I remove the center barrel. So I have a higher clearance of 53.6 millimeters. And I measured this, so this is 53.6 millimeters. I actually need to bring it a little bit more down. A little bit more. All right, that's good. 53.6 millimeters clearance. All right, so now that everything is set up, let's go on to Lightburn and upload our wrap. All right, here we are on Lightburn and to enable the rotary, we're going to go here at the top where it says laser tools. We're going to select rotary setup. We have the chuck, so we're going to make sure that one is selected. Enable rotary and then the steps per rotation. I reached out to Rotoboss and I asked them about this because I was a little bit confused at the beginning. And they told me for my laser, which is the Thunder Nova 35, it's an 80 watt. Um, I got to put this one, 8,200 steps rotation. And then the only thing that we need to change is the object diameter. So the diameter that we had for the 20 ounce skinny one, that one was 73.5 millimeters. So I already selected that. Now we're just gonna hit okay. Now we're gonna bring in our design for our tumbler. We're gonna go here on file, import, and we're gonna import these bows. I found this file on Etsy. I thought it was super cute. So what we're gonna do is highlight everything. We're gonna right click and group everything together because I don't want to accidentally move a design. Now we're gonna enter our measurements. I did a better measurement of the tumbler, the circumference. So instead of it being 235 millimeters, it was actually 226 millimeters. So this is what we're gonna change it to, 226 millimeters. And the height of it was 177.8. So let me just change that, 177.8 and boom. There it is. Next, we're going to rotate our design. So on the keyboard, we're gonna put, select the period and it's gonna turn it. And this is how we want it to be facing because the opening of the cup is this way and it's facing this way. So our bows need to be facing to the left, just like that. And our origin, we're going to bring it over here to this side by clicking this little button right here and it brought it right here. Okay, so next I'm going to show you the settings that I use. I like to use for tumblers. I have this little purple setting here and we're going to make sure that it's set to fill and our speed is set to 400 and our power to 40 and the lines per inch. I usually have it at 423. So now that that is set, we're going to hit OK. The time that it's going to take to engrave this tumbler, it's going to be 31 minutes and 16 seconds. Next, we're going to send it to the laser and then make sure everything is framed before we start. So let's hit OK. It's sent and let's go over to the laser just to double check everything. All right, before we start the engraving, I want to make sure everything is perfectly framed. I aligned my dot right here to make sure everything is perfectly overhead. I have the dot placed as high as possible on the tumbler and I selected origin and that is going to lock it into place and that is where it's gonna start. Next, I'm gonna frame it and I frame the height all the way up to right here, this line. 
because I didn't want it to pass it just because it kind of curves and I just don't want anything going past that line. So this is where I measured it too. So now, since we sent the file over, we're just gonna hit frame right here and watch it do its framing. So there it goes, follow it right on that line perfectly. Back up, perfect. All right, so now we're ready to start it. All right, now that this one is done, um, I'm gonna get this one set up and start going through the process. And while this one's going, we're gonna clean up this one with some LA Awesome. You can get this at the Dollar Tree. And this really like brings back the shine on the tumbler. I did it right there and you can see it just brought back the shine. And the this is where it ended like the seam. And it was perfectly aligned. Like you can you can barely, barely see it. Like it, it's barely there. So we lined up everything perfect. So let me get this set up. Let's go on light burn. I'll clean this up later and let's keep it going. All right, I got this one put in. And again with this one, I also made a little mark here on the front. And I made a mark on the back just so I know that this is where I want my design to go. And same with the back. All right, now we are going to move on to the second cup. So with this one, same with the other one, I'm gonna go on import. I'm going to bring in my design. I found this one was cute. I think it's the SVG one. Open it and here it is. So let me move that over and then we're going to get rid of these bows. All right, so before I start uh, making any um, measurement adjustments, we're gonna go back on the laser tools because this is a different cup. So now we have a different diameter. So we're gonna go on rotary setup. Um, still the same, Chuck, enable the rotary. And then for this one, the object diameter was 92.8 millimeters. And then we're just going to hit okay. And that's it. That's all we gotta do. So now I'm going to adjust this size and let me just change it to my purple one because this is the one that I use for tumblers. Move it over and for this one, I want a width of four inches. So I'm just going to change that right here. And here's a tip, you can use inches. So I could just put four I N and hit enter and it will convert it into millimeters. So that's, so you don't have to do the conversions because I'm always having to ask Alexa or Siri to convert my measurements, but you just put IN for inches and it does it for you. So that's good. Um, the height, I'm gonna keep it the same because that's about four inches as well. And I feel like that's the perfect tumbler size. And then on the settings, I'm just gonna do a quick adjustment because on the previous one, I forgot to turn off the high air. And when you're engraving, you're supposed to be using the low air. So with the other one, I'm gonna have to use a little bit more elbow power to bring back the shine. So here I'm gonna take off the high power, the high air, so I don't have to spend as much time cleaning the tumbler as I am with the other one. So now that everything is good, we're gonna hit okay. And then now we're going to rotate this design. We're gonna hit period on the keyboard. Um, I do wanna put a name on the other side so I have to go through like 100 different fonts to find the right one. All right, now I have my text. I chose the font thick, and I think I got it from Creative Fabrica. And I'm going to convert this to a path. That way it's just one image. So next, I'm gonna do these separate just because this is gonna be on the other side. All right, next we're gonna select the square and we're gonna select T1. And this is gonna be our template, um, our Tumblr template. So, I'm going to make the width of this seven inches because that is the height of the cup. And since we got it sideways, uh, this will be the height. So right here, we're just gonna put seven I N, enter. So now we have our frame of the tumbler. This is our space. Okay, uh, we're gonna highlight everything and I'm just gonna make this in the center. That way I know it's center on the cup. So, we're gonna do that and that. Okay, 
and doing that it's going to be centered on my cup because this is the measurement of my cup so next we're going to highlight both of these and we're going to send it over to the laser so we can frame so send it okay so the reason why we're going to highlight the template box also is because of this little origin thing right here so if i were just to send this by itself our little origin is right here and it's going to start engraving where i have my origin at but since i know this is going to be the seven inches and it's going to be right in the middle we're going to highlight both that way the origin is here at the top where i have the laser head and then it'll move it down here and then start right here we have our tumbler let's check the frame we're gonna select frame and see where this goes okay start right there in the middle move it up okay so it's gonna do this section right here all right now it's done let's check it out um yeah this one came out way better than the other one because like i said the other one i forgot to turn off the the air assist but yeah this is beautiful let's um let's clean it with the awesome and um, we'll, we'll see how it looks all right now let's clean them this is a totally awesome you can get it at the dollar tree with the magic eraser so like i said this one came out way better than this one because i forgot to turn off the assist and I could bring the shine back. I just gotta, see that's the, the one I did. I just gotta put my elbow into it. So first let's do this one because this is gonna be easy. Spray it a little clean. Oh yeah, that is so pretty. I love this font. Nice, nice, nice. All right, let me do the other side too. Spray it and clean it off. It comes off so much easier. That is awesome. Here's this one. See, it brought back the shine. Ah, that is so cool. And then the name. All right, now let's do this one. Okay, we're just gonna spray it. It's working. It's just going to take a little bit of time. Like that one got back to shine already, as you can see. One's almost there. Yeah, let me just finish this off camera and then we'll come back and then we'll see everything together. All right, I cleaned it off and now it's super, super shiny. It came out beautiful. And this is seamless. This is the back of it. You can't even tell. It connected the bows together. And you cannot even tell. We did it perfectly. Look at that, beautiful. And let me show you the other one. It says, when life gets blurry, adjust your focus. Look at, beautiful, nice and shiny. And like I said, I love these tumblers. I have one of my own, it's right there. Love it. <laughs> and the name, very, very shiny, beautiful. Let me know what you guys think. All right, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys watched until the end, show me by putting heart emojis down in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. That all helps my channel grow. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.